Imagine this, you unbox the next Galaxy S26, and instead of just a new chip and camera bump, you see something wild, an actual removable lens, like a DSLR. That's not sci-fi anymore. Samsung is inching toward turning that wild patent into reality and reviving its once-doomed Exynos chips, all in the same device. This could be the boldest Galaxy move in years, and it's all heating up fast. Welcome back, viewers. Sam here. Like what you're hearing. Smash that like button, share this video with a fellow tech lover, and don't forget to subscribe for more inside scoops just like this. So, let's talk chips. The Exynos 2600, once just a whispered name in Samsung's lab, now looks like a serious contender for the Galaxy S26 series. Yep, the chip that no one thought would survive might actually be powering your next phone if Samsung can pull off the comeback of the decade. Remember how Samsung ditched its own Exynos 2500 for the S25 series? That wasn't just a fluke, it was a full-on manufacturing meltdown. Their 3 nanometers chips just weren't cutting it. Low yields, overheating concerns, and massive losses forced them to lean entirely on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, built by TSMC. But now, Samsung's back at the table with the next Gen 2 nanometers chip, and early reports show it's not just alive, it's fighting. Insiders say Samsung Foundry's 2 nanometers yields are hitting 40 to 50 percent. That might not sound impressive, but in chip making, that's like crawling out of a deep hole with a jetpack. It's still below the 60% sweet spot needed for full-blown production, but it's a huge leap from the disaster that sidelined Exynos 2500. And get this, Samsung's targeting mass production by November 2025. TikTok. Meanwhile, TSMC, Qualcomm's chipmaker, is already cruising at over 60% on 2 nanometers. That's why Qualcomm isn't even looking back. The next Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, or possibly the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, is basically guaranteed to show up in the Galaxy S26 Ultra. But what about the regular S26 and S26 Plus? That's where the game gets interesting. Samsung might go split mode again. Exynos in Europe, Snapdragon in North America and Asia. It's a risky but strategic play. If Exynos 2600 performs well, Samsung could slowly phase it back in globally. But if things go sideways, well, there's always Snapdragon to fall back on. Now, here's the wild twist. While the chip war is heating up, Samsung might be quietly prepping to change the entire smartphone camera game. Based on a new patent, they're working on modular smartphone lenses. Yep, actual swappable lenses, no gimmicks. Imagine attaching a portrait lens or a wide-angle pro-grade glass to your phone with a click. Forget clunky clip-ons. Samsung's concept uses built-in magnetic systems and smart lens detection, adjusting settings like aperture and zoom automatically. It's ambitious, and it could make the Galaxy Ultra feel like a pocket DSLR. Crazy, right? This isn't just wishful thinking. Samsung already builds some of the best camera sensors in the world for themselves and competitors. So if anyone can pull this off, it's them. Vivo has tried similar things, but no one's cracked it at scale. This could be Samsung's moonshot. And they need a moonshot, because Apple is creeping in fast. Samsung's lead as the global smartphone king is thinner than ever. One wrong move, and Cupertino could snatch the crown. But Samsung's got one more card up its sleeve, their next Galaxy Unpacked event. Expect fireworks. We might see a teaser for the lens swapping phone, solid Exynos 2600 performance demos, or even an early look at the S26 design. If Samsung nails this, they won't just keep their lead, they'll redefine what a flagship phone even is. But there's still a lot that can go wrong. Yield problems, thermal issues, regional backlash over chip performance, all of it could derail Samsung's big plans. The Ultra model, powered by Snapdragon, is likely safe. But the rest of the lineup, the spotlight is firmly on Exynos 2600. If Samsung nails this, it won't just be a win for them, it'll be the redemption of a chip division many had written off. And it'll open the door to a future where your phone can do things we only dreamed about a few years ago. So will Samsung pull it off? Will the Exynos 2600 finally shine? Will we really get DSLR level cameras in our pockets? Time will tell, but one thing's for sure, the Galaxy S26 series is shaping up to be a turning point in smartphone history. Stay locked in. I've got more updates coming soon, especially after Unpacked. Until then, take care and keep dreaming big tech fans.